Today, we're gonna to be machining G10. Now, G10 is created by stacking layers of glass fiber into a soaking epoxy resin. It's one of the toughest glass fiber laminates out there, and it'll really wear your tools down because of how abrasive it is. So in order to be able to machine this stuff efficiently, we brought in three secret weapons. The high pack system consists of a DAL drill bit that's specifically for composites, laminates, carbon fiber reinforced polymers, and metal composite stacks. Now you guys know that I like to make big chips, but today we're gonna kind of pull a Trevor and we're gonna make a little bit of pixie dust and we're gonna use our coolant to turn it into sludge. We're gonna be running coolant today to keep the dust out of the air and out of our lungs. Nothing says ouch like a bunch of glass dust in your airways. Now G10 is a pretty common material. It's used in a lot of things like PC boards, boat equipment, and you may have seen some videos that Titan did where they were making parts for desalination pumps. Now take a look at our finished part here. For those of you that process materials like this on a regular basis, let me know down in the comments how long you think it's gonna take us to process this part complete, and whoever gets closest to the correct time will pin your comments. So for our first operation, we're coming in with our Dodeca shell mill and we're just taking 50 thou depths of cut so that we can get a nice, flat, clean surface. You may have seen a video that I did recently where we ran everything from aluminum all the way through 718 ink canal. For our second operation, we're coming in with our go drill and we're gonna punch a hole straight through this material so that we have something that we can probe for our second operation. Now we come to our first secret weapon. This is the Ken Cut Burr style router bit with PCD coating. PCD stands for polycrystalline diamond. And when you're roughing abrasive materials, you can't beat a diamond for hardness and wear resistance. Now this is a 12 flute tool that's capable of running 500 surface feet inside of abrasive materials like carbon fiber reinforced polymers. Next up, we have secret weapon number two, the KenCut PCD end mill for aluminum. Now in aluminum, we're able to run this tool at 6,500 surface feet, but in CFRP, we're gonna run it at 2,500 surface feet. Now this is a carbide bodied tool that has PCD tips. You also notice that there's holes in the carbide body, and this allows for exact placement of your cooling flow. This is after operation one. I want to talk about the whole quality. All right, guys, so something I want to point out is we use the normal carbide drill to drill this hole in the center. Now take a look at that exit hole quality. What we have there is we've got what looks like some delamination, a little bit of splintering, some definite fraying, and a pretty nasty burr. And that's why when you're working with CFRP materials or fiberglass laminates like this, you really need to have specialized drill geometry so that you get a good, clean exit hole. Diamonds in your face!
have secret weapon number three. This is the high pack system. The high pack system consists of a DAL drill bit that's specifically for composites, laminates, carbon fiber reinforced polymers, and metal composite stacks. Now in aerospace fastener applications, you need to hold a tight angular tolerance of one degree on a chamfer. So in the center, we have a diamond coated drill, and then we have a diamond coated chamfer insert that's capable of holding that one degree angular tolerance with no problem. One of the benefits of this tool is that you're able to just replace the insert or the drill bit rather than replace a full custom step drill. That means your price per hole is going to be reduced dramatically. All right, so check out how beautiful this part came out, everybody. You know, you'll notice that the chamfers that we did with our high packs assembly came out absolutely perfect. And in addition to that, you'll notice that the exit hole quality is almost perfect as well. There's no burrs, no delamination, and no splintering. All right, so the part came out beautiful. Doesn't taste quite as good as a disco ball, but, but what? But but it makes money. A quality part like this is why diamond tools are worth their weight in gold. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys again next time. So if you guys think you know how long this part took to manufacture, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna be watching and in the first 24 hours of the video's release, if you get the closest, I'm gonna let you know and we're gonna pin your comment.